Good morning and welcome to what I think is basement two level of this multi, multi-level dungeon. This could be the finale. I don't know. I have no idea how much more of this game we have. But we're gonna keep working our way through and uh, keep exploring Fulu's castle, which just keeps getting more and more complex the further we go. Okay, so these guys have our attack. Okay, so once again, you can get the straws from those guys if you didn't get one before. I'm not that concerned about it though. Let's have Ursula go ahead and attack. I want you to try and do a charm. Or no, not a charm. Get a rest. And we'll have Cray finish off the quizzet if Ursula doesn't manage to. Which she didn't. But Cray should be able to take it out because his attacks I don't think miss. Except it didn't do hardly anything. Okay, fine. We'll use magic. Yeah, and these guys will cast death, which hopefully won't work, because if it does, then we're not using magic. Thank you. Okay. Hoi vey. Hoi vey. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a... not a transfer. We'll do a typhoon. We'll go back to attack. We'll bring in Ryu, who can hit the bale, I guess. There are so many cool enemies here. Actually, there's just a lot of enemies here. There's a ton of different enemies in this in this dungeon. And a lot of them drop swords, mostly. Although there's also a couple that drop armor. There's a lot of enemies here, and a lot of them drop things that we have not got- drop equipment that we've not seen before. So I'd really like to get my hands on them, if possible. Alright, well we got the Aurum, which is about the most useless thing that we could be getting, honestly. Uh, I can go back up, or I can go through. What happens if I go up? I think this will take me back to the floor above? Yeah, so there's two other ways I can go. Alright, if you're already going to give me split paths, then uh, I think this is probably the not the way I want to be going. Okay, well I can raise that back up, which will allow me to take a different path. So we're going to go back down. And I'm going to instead see where this takes me. It takes me nowhere. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> I wanted to know where it took me, so I don't have to worry about it later. Alright, we know that these guys will reflect magic attacks if they hit- if they don't die from them. So we're going to try and make sure that they die from them. And the way we'll do that is by using a Typhoon, and we'll follow up said Typhoon with an Icicle to do an electric combo. With the combination of that and through Ursula's gun, this should take out the entire group, I think. I didn't actually check to see if these guys drop anything that I actually want. Probably should have done that. Oh well. Because I know the one group of them don't. But, oh well. This should take out this guy. He only has a sliver left. Yeah, there we go. Looks like we'll get Ursula to level 40. Nice. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that level. Got another balance ring. Alright. Don't really care that much about those, but could be helpful. Actually, here's an interesting thought. They give you the dragon's helm, but you also have the dragon's eye. Both of which are a kind are like iconic items from this game that make a lot of sense to have available. And 
now we wouldn't be able to equip both of them because they both take the same slot. So that's interesting. Oh. We got the yellow charm. Okay, cool. That's always helpful. So we can take that to go down. This feels like it's the correct path again. I keep trying to avoid those because I want to go the incorrect paths so that I can keep exploring and make sure I find all the items. So let's try going back through the other door and see where that takes me. Although now that I have the yellow charm, there's a couple of pieces of equipment that we could be getting that we hadn't gotten before. Um, so let's go ahead and do a fire blast. We'll follow that up with a typhoon. And what, what magic do you have? You have the magic of slash, that's what you have. So we'll just slash him. Oh, that's right, I have holy element on this guy. So maybe that'll be even more effective, I don't know. Blow him up. Okay, all in all, magic didn't actually do all that much to this guy. Holy Element also doesn't seem to do all that much to this guy. Fair enough. Alright, so she cannot use spells now. You know what? Uh, no, Ryu's not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot of damage to this guy anymore. I think your attack did some pretty good damage, though. And we'll bring in Kray, who should also be able to do good damage. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That'll work. So that's just the combination that I should be using, really. Fair enough. So far, Ascension is not proving to me that having the Holy Element is actually all that helpful. And that just leads me to a treasure to get another Shaman's Ring. Okay, I mean, that's useful. I do like those. I don't have them equipped on anyone yet, but they are theoretically quite useful to me. Okay, so I can go down through there. I feel like there is another pathway that I could have explored through here that I chose not to. Man, I'm already getting I'm already getting confused. That's not good. Oh no, no, no. We already did that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So we do have the yellow charm that I should try and make use of probably sooner rather than later. But for now, let's go down through here and see where it will lead me. Okay, so these guys drop target seeds and can drop wisdom seeds, which would be rather useful to have. We'll go ahead and just do an attack, followed by a typhoon, followed by an icicle, and this combination should just take them out. They'll both get their backlash in immediately, but I'm not that worried. Alright, so this Typhoon will probably, it'll definitely take out, well, actually it might not take out any of them. It'll probably take them. Okay, it took all of them out, so there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, it might not actually take any of them out, but okay, cool, cool. We like that. We like it better when they drop wisdom seeds, but we like that. All right, so I can go down and go back over. I can also go through here, which leads me up through this way, which allows me to 
burn through this door. Okay. So I think this was one of the doors that was blocked before. No, no, that's... I don't think it was, actually. Oh, well, there's the elevator. Okay. And there's a treasure. All right, cool. So we could have taken the elevator down here. That would have gotten us this treasure, but then we wouldn't have been able to get through this door, so we wouldn't have been able to progress. Fair enough. I'm kind of fine with that. So the way we need to go then is down. Now there was still more ways we could go using our new yellow card. I'm trying to remember where all of them were. Uh, there was one on the floor above us, I know that, and I think there was a one on the floor above that as well. So I need to try and remember to hit both of those because they will probably lead me to items. And I like items. I really wish there was an item, like an, if there was an accessory that I could equip that would allow, allow me to get AP back on step, I would absolutely grab that and immediately give it to Nina. I don't know if there even is anything like that in the game. There's multiple items similar to like similar to that for HP, but I don't know if there's anything like that for AP. It would be nice though. It would be very nice. All right. Uh nothing. All right. So I can go through here. And that leads me to this treasure. Mist armor. Color me intrigued. Can you equip that? You can. Uh, it contains the essence of water. And it's just a generally pretty good armor. Alright. And it's unfortunate that the life armor doesn't work in your dragon forms as well. But it's okay. So it's a little bit heavier than the Damascus Mail. However, it does have it does offer more defense as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, I should probably give it to Sias. His defense is not great, so let's do that instead. There we go. I did not realize that the. Sias's defense was actually so low. And that is all we can do here. So we do need to go backwards. Okay. I mean, fair enough. We can we can definitely do that. Well, I will work my way back to an area that I can actually make some progression in then. Okay, so we're in another battle. It looks like the bale has a rod that we haven't gotten yet. So that is interesting. That could actually be Nina's best weapon. Um, so let's see if we can get our hands on it. We'll go ahead and have Ryu do a pilfer on this guy. And we'll have Ursula still attack, because I don't want to take too much time against these guys. Like, yes, getting these really cool equipment is obviously very good to do. But at the same time, I'm not horrifically concerned. Especially with Nina. Like, her weapons, unless they increase her intelligence or her, uh, or her concentration... They don't really matter that much. Ah, and this is my, that was my main concern. Oh, okay. Yeah, once per battle with her master, she can just get back up. Whew. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a, actually, you know what? The best thing for me to do is actually do a rest there. And we'll do a pilfer and we'll do an attack and that should take him out, I think. 
The reason why I say the best thing to do is to do a rest is because that's the basically the only this is one of the only chances I'm gonna get to actually heal uh, Nina's AP. I don't get very many of them anymore because I'm trying to burn through these battles relatively quickly. Cray is such a powerhouse. But yeah, good to know. Uh, I do want to try and get that staff if I can. So this is a little bit of a conundrum. I lifted up the thing so that I could go along. Oh, oh, I think I see what I need to do. So I can't have this lifted right now. I need to, now that I've unlocked the ability to use the elevator, I need to take the elevator down lift it up, and then I can take the elevator back up to do that. Okay, so I need to completely work my way back out of here, including raising that back down, and then work my way to the elevator. Okay, all right, we're figuring it out. Oh, and as a side note, uh, apparently the weapon these guys drop is the Ascension. So it's not as rare as I thought it might be. I think I might actually just switch back to the Damascus sword. <laughs> All right, so I'm back up here. Uh, now that I have the, the the yellow card, I can break through there, which means I can now go this way if I choose to. Now, I'm not sure if I want to do that. This looks like it could very well be the story progression. In fact, I think it likely is. But let's just see what's down here real quick. Okay. This definitely looks like it's the way I'm supposed to be going. So we're going to not do that real quick. I do seem to recall that there was another area that I could have used the yellow card for, which probably leads me to another treasure. So I think it was on the floor above this one. So I'm going to see if I can work my way back to that and uh, see what we can do. And I guess just as a side note, while I'm thinking about it, uh, I did have the thought of if you really want to be extra spicy, uh, one thing you could do is use, or not use, but equip, here we go. So if I go down to floor two, then that should allow me to do a bunch of trade side quest stuff, or not trade side quest, whatever. Uh, it should allow me to do a bunch of stuff. Let me actually, I should actually complete one thought before I continue to the next. Uh, if you're feeling extra spicy, one thing you could do is equip Ursula with Bunyan, have Bunyan be Ursula's master, because now that would cause her gun that's hitting everyone to not miss, which could just be really fun. Uh, so that that's probably not a terrible idea. I didn't do that because I want her AP, well, I mostly wanted her HP to actually be able to go up, but if I had access to Bunyan, if I had access to be able to change my masters right now, I would probably do that. But that's just a thought. Uh, I should be able to raise the platform and then work my way back around here in a minute and continue trying to see what these little alternate paths actually take me to. So now I'm even more confused because I can't actually reach the switch anymore. What have... Hmm. It's too late in the night for me to be doing this. I am not... <laughs> I feel like there's, again, probably a pretty obvious solution here, but... Man, this is not working well for my brain, clearly. <laughs> okay, well, we're continuing on our way back, and we have figured out what the armor that these guys carry were. It is the mist armor which is what we currently have equipped to Sias. So if we can get more of those, that's nice, but I'm not that concerned about it anymore, now that I know what it is. 
All right, well, we're back in a fight with these guys. I still haven't found that yellow door again, but I don't think I'm on the right level for it anymore, so I think I need to go back down another level. We still don't know what sword they drop. So I still want to try and figure out what sword they drop. So I'm going to keep working on that. Because uh, I'm very curious what it is. Okay, finally found the yellow card room. It was back in the room area where we fought the dragon. I don't know why I kept thinking it was earlier than this. But it'll lead us to this treasure, which gives us the dragon armor. I think the life armor is probably better. But, I mean, canonically, we wear the dragon armor. And it resists breath attacks, so... I mean, the life armor is probably technically better, but uh, I'm, I think I'm fine with that. I could give you the life armor, which actually does not have as much defense, but it is probably better than what you've currently got equipped, so... Oh yeah, you had the force armor before, which can cast barrier, so I don't think I want it on you anyway. Yeah, we'll give you the life armor, why not? Okay, cool. Well, now we've got the dragon armor. We don't have a dragon sword yet. That's the one piece we're missing from the dragon assortment of items. But, yeah, we'll probably be finding some... Well, actually, well, we did have a dragon slayer very briefly, although it was super weak. And we got the ascension, which is also kind of... Kind of iconic at this point. It was at least in the previous game. But, I'm not that worried about it. Um... I guess we need to go back down to the other room and try and figure out how we progress that puzzle because I don't I'm not actually seeing it and at this point I've kind of been recording for this one hour one episode for almost an hour already and it's like nine o'clock at night and I really should go to bed <laughs> um all right in fact, what I might do here, now that we've got the dragon armor, I think what I might actually just go ahead and do is, since we're right next to the save point anyway, I think I might call it here today. I know this episode is probably only around 20 minutes if I had to guess, maybe even less, but again, I really need to go to bed. <laughs> I didn't expect to be at this one episode for like an hour. I've been recording like three hours for this session. I was kind of planning to be done with the game today, uh, to finish the game, but that didn't happen. Um, that's right, and this way only takes me to the red door, so in order to progress you do have to take the elevator. Um, I guess real, real quick. Just since we're here anyway. What happens if I go all the way down to beef th basement 3 with this guy? Where does it take me? There's not another elevator here for me to take. Uh, it takes me to where I need the red card. Okay. So, I'm going to need to get a red card at some point. I'm gonna also going to need it to open that gate. So, I can't really progress any further until I get that card. Noted. I still feel like I should be able to do the minor puzzle with the raising floor platform. But I'm not... It's not coming to my brain as to how we do that. Maybe I'll see if I can still solve that in this episode. Um, because if I take the elevator here, it doesn't seem to let me actually get back to... Oh, wait, what if I, what if I just do this? Um, so we take this back to B1. I think I might have just been overcomplicating things. As I am want to do. Um... Okay, yeah, we're back in this room. So, if I... Oh no, because if I... 
I won't be able to walk back doing this. And if I go from basement two, then it takes me up the stairs. And if I go up the stairs, then I can't... Is there a way to call the elevator? I wonder. Maybe, maybe there's a way to call the elevator uh, from a different floor. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, this is this is not going well. Uh, yeah, cause if I if I go this route, yeah, I'm not really seeing how I walk across that. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need to. But I feel like I'm supposed to. I feel like it'll lead me somewhere. But I'm not really certain of that, I guess. But it feels like something I should be able to do. Alright. Because what I would do is I would go down here, then I would loop, then I would go back. Nope. Come on. Then I would go back up. We go up here. And we go through here. And this leads me back to the elevator. Now. Yeah, because there's a path down right there as well. Which, no, wait, that's the path that I took. Is there any point in me being able to get up there? Maybe there isn't. Maybe there is, in fact, not any point in me being able to get up there. Can I fly with Nina? <laughs> Alright, let's just change out Urshan for Nina. I should probably change out Ursula instead, but... Can you fly? Okay. It really doesn't look like there's any point in me doing that. I'm gonna change my camera angle real quick and fly again. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's telling me that there's actually a point in me doing that. Okay. So it looks like this entire little thing that I've been trying to avoid here is entirely unnecessary, if I had to guess. Um, so that's, that's neat. That's pretty typical for me, honestly. All right, in that case, I'm just gonna work my way back to getting the heck out of here. And I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode of Breath of Fire 4, where we work on getting the red charm. Now that we have the yellow charm and we can move forward back in the, uh, back in the main room. But I'll see you guys then.